mm. in natural way or another mm. that could cause the inner uh, chaos in Malaysia the ethnic Malay Malay and ethnic Malay Chinese could fight mm. could okay could have a physical mm. fight because they had it before yeah but that was a different time I think okay. now the ethnic Malay are pretty secure yes when ethnic Malay is very strong now, it's very easy for them to, and they are the majority. Yeah. But if the ethnic Chinese Malay's life in danger, same like in, in uh, happening in Vietnam before, mm. Chinese army will go there. Yeah. Chinese military will go there. Chinese military will do this as an excuse to unite the whole people together with this as a perfect uh, excuse or justify they take the money away from all the people. Because in, Ch in China, in China, because of the war, mm -hmm. everyone should contribute. Mm -hmm. So the the government will be ever stronger. The yeah. question is, if the world will allow China to do that. Mm. If Chinese military went to Malaysia to rescue the ethnic Chinese Malay and rescue their own people and their own interest. In Malaysia, well, we would know it would be their own interest. It wouldn't be because they're caring about the people. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. I mean, the question is that so would be the excuse. The, the question is what what will the rest of the world do? Will U.S. sit still, watch, and condemn them with their uh, words, uh, papers, microphone? I don't really know because the eyes have not been on that. Or with their F-15s or 25s, or I don't know uh, what, what, what they have now. Well, yeah, I mean, we should know with Nellis Air Force Base, base right close by. They're doing maneuvers over the house. Oh, we can drop by okay. to ask an officer, what do you have? And can you show us? Bombers, stealth bombers all the time. A couple times a week they do their maneuvers over the house. And I don't know, whatever, and all the other... You, you can invite some of the uh, the pilots and the flyboys uh, are all around here. I see the flyboys all the time. You invite one of the drivers and for a cake. Drivers? <laughs> I mean the Air, Air, Air Force drivers and uh, for a cake party something. Pilots. Yeah. It's okay. Pilots. For someone okay. who flies a lot, I don't know. <laughs> Your words escape you. <laughs> but no, anyway, no. In a serious, in uh, you know, serious note. Um, I don't know how involved the United States would get, but I'll tell you that the Malaysian people, okay, it, uh, Mahathir's uh, popularity went through some waves. I'm not exactly sure where it is right now. Mm -hmm. um, he was elected, so obviously mm -hmm. he's still loved. Mm -hmm. But he's seen as, I mean, it's like if George Washington came back today or, or Abraham Lincoln came back and, and we could reelect them, of course we would. And we would just say, hey, whatever he says i go with it because that's how much respect we have for those former presidents and that's how much respect the average malaysian person has for mahathir muhammad they would follow him to hell and back okay and he did go through some other issues because as he's gotten older he's become more and more frank he's not your typical politician anymore that worries too much about other people's feelings including his own people's as far as hurting their feelings uh, religiously he's come out as as kind of very much in the middle he's come out speaking against the the hardline uh, right-wing people so what i'm trying to say and don't cut me off i know you're dying to but don't i'm just trying to set uh the, you know show the picture give a clear picture um, yeah. of, and of he, who he, he is, and yeah. he doesn't care. Stop! Oh my God! He cannot be pulled off. Will you stop? Stop! Thank you. Wow. Because freeze, he, freeze. Okay, all right. And I'm the one who told you all this stuff, so stop it. That yeah, he's 93. He's been there, done that. He's a man of the people. You can meet him in the market, okay? It's not unusual before he was re-elected to see him at the market during Ramadan and shaking hands, taking pictures, no problem. He doesn't crave, I don't think, from his demeanor, 
and over the last several years how he presents himself he he's 93 he doesn't have anything to prove to anybody he's the father of malaysia he does not care about power he does not care about money can't take it with you and it doesn't do anything it's like their version of uh, gandhi walking around he would never be without he would never he doesn't have to worry about those things just put it that way freedom of speech uh, I have my freedom of speech too. You do, but just not over me. <laughs> just not over me. Speech. This is USA. <laughs> he has freedom of speech just when I'm done. I'm a teacher, okay? We raise our hands now. <laughs> uh, okay, I, I just, uh, we just talked about this. I hope that you have get some picture, something from this topic, and uh, you're welcome to give your expertise or you are say about this. And uh, please, 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 and look on this side too. This thing could go big. I just hope that uh, it's not my hope. Uh, I just, uh, uh, it's not my hope, not my think, but uh, uh, this is on his strategy to get a bargain with Chinese people, say the penalty can lower or whatever, and uh, can end softly uh, for the world peace. Well, actually, I really hope that, you know what, I, I, I don't, I have to say, of course, I have some personal bias because I lived in Malaysia for six years. And it's a very peaceful country for the most part. And the people are very laid back and relaxed. And, um, you know, I enjoyed that about it. And I would not like to see it become uh, violent. And I would not like to see it taken over. Okay, I think it's fine the way it is. And I think the people are perfectly capable of doing these things themselves. And no one says that they have to be a superpower. They can just have their own land and be pleasant, peaceful people. Okay? And I don't think it's fair. The, the thing that happened is not fair. And it was a former prime minister who really screwed things up. I hope that Mahathir can resolve this peacefully. And, and I do not want to see Malaysia changed. And I, if this project went through, that is definitely what would happen. It would not be the Malaysia that I just spent six years in anymore. And I, I would not crave, you know, to go back there. I wouldn't want to. I would just be like, no, it, it's just become a different country. Okay. Uh, my final words. My final words to uh, your dear president, uh, Donald Trump. And uh, it's okay to push China a little bit, but not too hard, please. And China, uh, U.S. relationship is very important, of course, you know um, that. And uh, if you push China too hard, if they cannot survive, they will use some other means that could cause world chaos and uh, that will harm the U.S. too. So do I think we Chinese we have Tai Chi, you know, we do it softly with power, very powerful but very softly. And when you touch something, you know, you do it softly, not a punch. So okay. Why don't they do that anymore? Hmm. Why doesn't the Chinese government take that advice? What's wrong with them? Because I'm not allowed to tell my dear uh, leader in China because they don't listen to me. It's so sad. But uh, Donald Trump might. Oh, this Chinese guy, I'm not Chinese, I'm Norwegian, okay? This Chinese face guy, mm -hmm, what he said has a point. Let's invite him for... Chinese face guy. <laughs> <laughs> and let's, oh, let's, let's invite him for, for a piece of cake. What kind of cake? Uh, actually, I don't eat cake. Uh, please, uh, just how invite... About, how about some tacos or nachos? anything uh president donald trump if you invite me uh please invite me together with my uh dear partner uh mercedes Lapins, and uh we go together if she wants to go maybe hmm. okay uh <laughs> hope you have your say your comments anything you want to say send your video send your comments or words in any form okay we're be welcome nice, though i mean be nice and be intelligent about it please don't just be belligerent because we're not saying we're experts 
we're just talking here and i'm just talking uh, when i when i say these things obviously everyone has their bias and their emotions yes well but, but, but if you say oh this too trash they don't know what they're talk, yeah. talking about talking about you are right you are right you're absolutely correct yeah. but you tell us what you expertise is yeah exactly and if if i was wrong about the you know the way people in malaysia view mother muhammad please let me know if it's changed but we want to learn from you yeah but i mean as far as i know and from my friends and from living in putrajaya and my friends being people who have influence knowing them at least i'm not that but i knew people like that I also know that uh, how Donald Trump is loved by the the people here in the United States. Actually, quite a few. Not uh, kidding. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm really I'm not a Donald Trump fan, but I'm watching what's happening, and some things are really shocking me, in in a in a good way. Uh, but I really I still think he's sorry, and I will, and you keep that in there. Because it's true, and it's my right to say it. Oh my God! Hey, you I'm could not. be you could be in jail. You no. say that in China. But I I can't hear. If you don't agree, fine. That's your opinion, and your right to not agree with if me. If you say that in Xi Jinping in China, you're in jail. You're in dead trouble. Yeah. So this is I'm I'll, not here. Good thing I'm not there. Anyway. Actually, I think in China they would love for me to say that about Trump. <laughs> I just couldn't say it about Xi Jinping, right? I could say it about Trump all I want. He got confused.